What is going on guys? Teriyaki back here with finally another video. Uh, we're with the Chiefs Fan Han account again. Uh, this one is going to be a kind of a bigger update than update number 3 and 3.5. Um, we are going to go into our mod challenges and we got all the way over to potency mods. And then we do have the tier 3 finally three starred for every single one of these so we can now farm them when we need them and the only one i have left to do is speed mods and that will be coming probably within the next couple of days but not not in the video but like i'll probably be done with that one within the next couple of days um, a little update on our first raid attempt. We are currently sitting at eight and a half mil out of 10 to reach that first box. Uh, we still have a lot of zeros on the board. Um, also a lot of like 300 K pluses as well. And then some people who scored way below that, but that's because they don't have high enough gear and good mods on their specific teams i've been trying to help them with their specific teams but i can't say much with the cheese fan Han account because i'm pretty much in the same boat as they are the only person i have right now is mace windu so i submitted my zero score for that um got kind of a i think i think it's one update but i'm just gonna count it as two updates uh we got both uh, zeb and chopper at seven stars technically three updates now and we also have captain rex finally at five stars which is why i went in uh three starred or did the tier three for all the uh mods so i can start getting five star mods and kanan is almost seven stars got three more purchases of him to go unless i decide to uh start farming the uh cantina node but i'm gonna hold off on the cantina node we're actually gonna go one purchase there just because uh i do need to level up his abilities still uh kanan is going to be kind of easy to mod because he's mostly health mods i can do four health two defense or all six health uh hera is going to be basically two speed two health but i have some uh ragtag mods on her for right now because i was just trying to get her to be able to do uh the mod missions anyways so that, that's the only reason why she has those specific mods on her didn't really level them up as you guys can really see i i, I actually the only one i leveled up was this one because it was a speed mod and i just wanted a little bit more speed on her other than that i'm not leveling up anything below five dot mods anymore uh we're almost done with our tie fighter pilot we're even almost done with our darth vader uh i went and unlocked boba fett grand moff tarkin uh, obviously Mace Windu, uh, Admiral Akbar, and there's a couple of other ones. We got a, all of these were unlocked through the Bronzium packs. Unfortunately, I hate unlocking characters through that because it just adds on to the GP. But that's, that's nothing I can really, uh, do about that. We do have a Magna Guard unlocked. I don't remember if I got him, if I unlocked him intentionally or if he was unlocked through Bronzeums, I can't remember. And right now we're low on uh, MK1 and 2 raid currency, so I ha haven't been able to purchase uh, Farm Boy or Old Ben or any of the other characters that I'm trying to purchase out of those specific shops. Uh, so one thing i do want to say is since i am done with chopper and because the raid we are going for, or the raid we're doing i have put a halt on uh going for boba fett really next and i'm going straight for luminara right now at least to get her to five stars and basically i'm just gonna go with a five star gear 11 jedi team for the uh raid just to get my points in and be done and i'm basically gonna do the same thing with the droids when i get to the to the point where i can farm them too uh, B2, uh, Droidica, whenever that happens. Um, obviously, IG-100, uh, Darth Maul and Darth Sidious, 5-star, gear 11, and just go with it, basically. 
And then for fleets, didn't really put together a too good of a fleet uh, thing here. Just some rag, just what you can get with uh, the new player experience. Uh, we are rocking this four four man or four ship uh, thing with our uh, executrix, uh, and then the next one we'll probably be working on will be one of these two. Just with the pillars, it's most likely going to be uh, this one, but I we'll we'll, we'll see. We'll see on that one. All I know is I want to get my tier three Zetas as fast as possible. Speaking of which, uh, we got three five star ships. This will be our fourth one when we can get him there. Uh, we obviously got to get Executrix up to six stars. And then the other ones have to be five stars. We need one more five star dark side ship. And I'm thinking from the last video, I'm thinking of going with uh, Geo Soldier ship. It just depends on what we end up unlocking down the road with uh, the new player experience stuff. Oh, I hate how my mouse double clicks sometimes. But yeah, we're besides ships, we're also still working on um, our Pillar 1 characters. As you can see, there's somebody not here anymore. I do finally have her at 50 shards, so she is 3 stars, but I haven't put her up to 3 stars yet. Uh, so so she is finally taken off of the farm nodes. I don't have to worry about her anymore. I can just focus on these ones whenever they're done. I can just start taking them off and then adding Pillar 2 stuff in, which means I do have to come out with my Pillar 2 video shortly. Probably within a week or two, maybe. It just depends on how long I finish like Hera and all these others. Because I kind of want to finish two to three of these characters before I start doing Pillar 2 stuff. Which gives me time to farm, pre-farm some um, relic material uh, farming nodes. And then once we finish TIE Fighter Pilot and his ship, because we're going to take his ship up to 7 stars, we'll probably end up working on either Soldier or Lando next. And then when those are done, we'll work on Tarpoles. And then once we hit level 83, wherever we're at with Tarpoles, we're going to stop. And then we're going to strictly farm Brood Alpha. And then once we finish Brood Alpha, we'll go back to Tarples. Even though there's a lot of other farms in the cantina we need to do. So I've got to figure out how to do a, a kind of a plan with uh, farming for cantina when it comes to being able to farm signal data and characters at the same time. i got to come up with like a farm characters on certain days and farm these fragments on certain days basically is what I got to try and come up with. And then we did start farming uh, Marin already. So we pretty much have a two star Marin already. Uh, we were, we're getting close for the Han Solo, but as I said, we're running out of, uh, we ran out of um, MK1 uh, raid tokens. We can unlock Kit Fist though, but I'm going to wait till he's five star. That's one of the Jedi being used for uh, the raid team. And then uh, in the uh, squad arena shop, once I finish Kanan, I'm not going to go for Greedo right away. I'm going to go for uh, Darth Sidious. And then we'll go for Greedo and then the rest of the squad arena shops from the pillars. And then same thing like as I was talking about uh, for the chopper one. It's not Lumi. I think I said Lumi earlier. But for the cantina shop, which is somewhere around here, wherever... I don't even think I put the cantina shop up here. What the heck? Yeah, I don't even think I added the cantina shop. <laughs> Chopper and uh, after Chopper was done, it was going to be uh, Qui-Gon Jinn. And then since I'm done with Zeb, I started working on Lumi. We're going to take Lumi up to five star and then we're going to go back to Cad Bane and finish Cad Bane out. And then we've been seeing a little bit of Sunfac here and there. have not seen a General Grievous yet. But we have seen Razor Crest a couple times. And also because we are at five stars for our Phoenix, I'm not in this specific video, but in another video, I will probably go for both Grand Admiral Thrawn and Emperor Palpatine five star unlock. Uh, we are also. So we are down three Galactic Wars now. 
So we didn't complete three Galactic Wars, and I'm currently working on this one. So that's three out of nine, I believe it is, that I haven't finished. And this one would be the tenth right now that I'm working on. And then obviously I can restart it. But I'm going to see, try and get as far as I can before I have to hit that restart. But I do have to hit that restart in a few hours. So I do got to get this done pretty quick. I'm not going to do it on video. This one was mostly just a uh, update on where I'm at character wise and picking up my daily stuff really. Uh, from what well, I started, what 800 and something in fleets, and I'm now at 576. I'm, I'm climbing, but climbing slowly because I can only do one battle a day right now. That's for both squad arena and fleet arena. I can only do one battle a day currently. So that's kind of my hindrance because of my other couple accounts that I play on. So that's hindering this one a little bit, but I'm going to start playing this one hopefully a little bit more and try and get some more battles in here and there. But especially with work too, it's hard. It's very hard to keep up with at least four accounts on, while working. Technically five because I do have one account that I call a ticket whore right now. Uh, basically gets tickets for the guild that we're technically in right here right now. Um, but yeah, anyways, that, this was basically a quick little, uh, update video number four for the cheese fan Han account. As always, thanks for watching and catch y'all in the next one.